Hello friends, this is Rehan again. In this tutorial, we are going to see the library homepage explanation. As you remember, in the last tutorial, we have finished the initial configuration of library. If we go back to Firefox, we ended till here. So we had uh, all the configuration is now over. So this is the library home admin homepage. Okay, and this is our default username. So if you sign out, As a guest, you can see the page like this. This is not an admin page. Now, if you want to log in, you need to go to this sign in portal, give test, and then give password as test. Click remember me and give sign in. Remember password. So now we have logged in as admin. Okay, before we start our, start our administration part, let me clarify uh, what is this administration panel consists of. Okay, this home page is how it is divided in library. Okay, so left side if you see some of these uh, buttons, these are called as site controls. Okay, these site controls are nothing but this has a quick settings to edit the present page. Okay, suppose if you want to add something to this current page, you can just press this add button and then you can current. So basically, it has some quick settings that, that can be modified in the current page. Okay, it, yeah, since it is first time, right? So it's taking some time. Okay, so if you want to add a content, you can add uh, here. So, so basically, it's like that. Okay, so this, this is a uh, side control. Okay and this is a logo of the site and this is the site name and this is the navigation menu okay this is a breadcrumb this is a sign in portlet and this is a library default web content uh, display portlet okay and uh, this one is called as a dog bar and dog bar is no nothing but this is the main bar that is going to tell you whether you are an administrator or a user uh, based on what rights you have these options will change since you are an administrator now you, can, you will have access to throughout the library okay you can also give for the users what permission they should have which I will tell in later okay so this is the structure of the site so this whole thing logo title of the site and uh, this navigation th this will be the header of the site okay and this uh, breadcrumb and this layout uh, layout where the portlets are present are uh, the, these are actually the body of the site okay like uh, in html5 this is header this is body okay and uh, okay then the last thing we'll be looking searching for the footer this powered by life ray is there no this is the footer for this site okay so if you remove this uh, de this default portlet you can see this uh, this footer got back Side, okay so guys and uh, th that's all about the structure of this page and one more thing which I wanted to tell you is about this link uh, this is actually the home page uh, uh, it's actually the home page which is uh, this is the name of the page this is actually the uh, like a who can who have who can see this page actually if it is uh, uh, it's actually guest page right so like uh, any guest user can view this page okay so uh, like uh, whatever pages uh, that is publicly available will come under this web folder okay suppose if you go to joey blocks my profile this is our username and go to my profile you this is also a public page uh, like uh, our profile page okay since our profile name is test and this is our home page okay so it's like a Facebook profile okay you will have your own profile page like other users can see that okay so it will come under the life ray Inc Joey blocks as our username and welcome is the page name okay it's loading a bit so we better open from uh, Chrome see this is since it is a public page uh, as I already told you all the public pages uh, will be come under this web 
okay the username is test so it's like uh, we are seeing the profile of the user joey blocks okay this is site logo those things now we are also going to sign in as admin which is my username is test uh, at teamlife.com and password is test remember me sign in okay so I think here it's loaded very fast see blogs and everything is loaded okay so if you go to my profile this is actually we are in my profile so if you want to go back to our home site if you, you go to my sites and click life ray so this is the home website okay another setting is my dashboard if you go to my dashboard you can see before uh, before in, in site it was like a web okay web is a public uh, website but that can be viewed by the uh, that can be viewed by uh, other users guest users without logging in okay but if you see this is a user uh, user uh, it will come it it has changed to user okay which means that uh, only these are these it means that a private page so if it is a web okay if it is a web then it is a, a public page okay the, if it is a uh, if it is a user then it is a private page what is the difference between public page and private page i will tell in the upcoming tutorials so basically that public pages will be basically what you need to know is that public page anyone can able to see and this private page uh, only the user can able to see so that's all about the full layout of life frame hope you guys enjoy the tutorial i will be, we will meet in the next tutorial uh, stay subscribed for more life ray videos and upcoming uh, life ray updates uh, thank you for your support and see catch you in the next tutorial bye bye